Hello everybody, welcome back to the FTCR Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Part 6. In the last part, Mexi just destroyed three gyms. Th gyms, we've been talking about Pokemon. <laughs> three. No, no, they were gyms and I got the badges. Three dungeons in one part and uh, Mexi, I forget how many dungeons are left, old boy. There's two more Crystal Maiden dungeons and then obviously the final dungeon. Crystal gems? Crystal gems. I mean, that's ba let's be honest, Steven Universe is just an adaptation of A Link to the Past. Yeah. No notice how Link has is wearing pink and shit. <laughs> yeah, and Link Link is his own mother. A and he has a shield. He has a shield. It's all and Rose had a sword. <gasps> it's perfect! Oh my god. This Rebecca Sugar Chick must, like, be some kind of hack. There's three parts of uh, the Triforce, you know, wisdom, courage, and uh, power, which kind of equate to the Crystal Gems. Garnet would be uh, power. Uh, uh, Pearl would be wisdom. I thought and Pearl would be lesbian angst. Which which is wisdom, same thing. Yeah, this and, is true. <laughs> and Amethyst would be courage. How is it the same thing? What, Stephen? What? How is it the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> have you have you seen lesbian eggs? You gotta be. Have you have you ever tried being a being a being a cowardly <laughs> lesbian? <laughs> being a cowardly lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, but you know, I'm into experimentation. Gareth, how I've tried. Oh, you how can, I've tried. <laughs> you gotta be fucking brave, man, to be a lesbian. <laughs> In today's man's world, yeah. Um, also, you... I, I'm done with the fairy upgrades. I, I know that was stupid, but I wanted to get the last one, so there you go. No more. Now Ice Dungeon. Uh, this used to be my least favorite dungeon, but now uh, now I can just skip all of it, so who gives a fuck? Uh, Misery Mire is still worst dungeon in the game. Fight me. Fight I, me. I just generally hate ice levels in video games anyway. Like, whenever you add ice physics to anything... I'm just like, fuck this, yeah. man. I think the only games where I'm pretty okay with, like, their ice levels tend to be, like, Donkey Kong Country games. They're still... They tend to be on the weaker side, but I still yeah, enjoy them. I don't know. I kind of... I don't Donkey Kong Country... Especially... I, I, I don't remember 3 so much, but especially in 1, they're, some of my, they're like my least favorite levels in that entire game. Dude, I will take... World. I will take a Donkey Kong Country Ice level over a Donkey Kong Country Beehive level any day of the week. Mm, th that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but uh, no, Ice physics in this game are fucking atrocious. Like, they went all out with trying to make Ice annoying and shit. So, you know, fuck it. Was that, was that a Stalfos? Those were two Stalfos that they keep regenerating unless you use bombs and that was one cool thing they did with twilight princess they brought that back but uh here, here here's oh, something yeah. actually really important is this bomb jump here which is what pretty... was that what was that insanity so i'd use that bomb jump so i can get through this room while keeping the red pegs up because we're basically done with the dungeon now. Um, ha! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because now that the, the red pegs are up, the blue pegs in the room right before the final boss, they're now down. Which means we don't have to do this huge circular thing that this dungeon is designed to be. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah. And that, that bomb jump is actually kind of cool too, because it's like you have to keep count of pixels between your sword and the bomb, and then it just sort of just blast you right across. So see, now we can just go straight to the boss door. <laughs> or uh, boss hole, because A Link to the Past is kind of cool where you don't actually have to go through doors for bosses, sometimes you just fall into their hole. I love falling into a boss hole. You're a boss whose hole I'll fall into. And uh, before you guys get all up in arms, yes, this means I'm not getting the uh, blue tunic, but as I said, I'm just completing the inventory screen, so getting the red tunic is going to override getting the blue tunic, so it doesn't even fucking matter. More cotton candy. <laughs> More eyeball bosses. This one's cold stare, because who doesn't love them in Nintendo pun? Easy peasy. You're, they're making the, you're making this game a fucking joke, dude. This game is a joke. Video games are jokes. And uh, So how many dungeons are left? One more crystal, and then the final dungeon. 
So, do you, are there four more heart pieces, or do you get the last heart in the last dungeon? There, so there's two pieces of heart on on Death Mountain. There's one that's actually in the dungeon, and then there are two that I still need to get on the overworld. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Cold Stairs giant ice block thing, it was intended to dissolve when you use the fire rod against it but apparently like the bit that controlled that graphical effect isn't registered in the game to like be triggered so the ice never actually melts it just disappears and it's something that they fixed in the gba version so yes there are some benefits of the gba version everything about it is garbage but you can see cold stairs ice crystal melt as opposed to just disappear I think the GBA version also lets you keep uh, running with the Pegasus boots, if I'm not mistaken. That's irrelevant. <gasps> Best version ever. No, nope, go fuck yourself now. <laughs> still has to li- still have to listen to Child Link screaming in <laughs> zoomed in screen. But I, I te- love Child Link screaming. Te- text boxes are faster, so. But some sections of the dungeon are like completely missing. I know that. Um. They, they did the whole so remake slight touch-up thing that everyone was like freaking out about when Ocarina of Time 3D came out, and it was like, oh, I hope they completely redid Water Temple. It's no. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, they're not going to completely redo <laughs> a dungeon. So then people were all disappointed when they did did the uh, color coordination to show you where like the water level panels what water level it would be associated with and apparently that still wasn't good enough for you people so whatever oh come on yeah apparently that's still confusing like they gave you the cutscene to show you the key that exists under the uh, center tower yeah they fucking showed you mm. well so i think part of it also was just um so, so one of the things that that, that was annoying it was it was kind of like it was uh, it was very time consuming sometimes. You always had to just go, I gotta pause, fucking go to the inventory, take off the boots, go somewhere, and yeah. they uh, put that. the boots back on. I, exactly. So I think one of one of the biggest things that helped the water temple in the 3D version is you know the the uh, touch screen is for you can just like equip shit instantly. Yeah. Which you know cuts down your time a lot. I really like Ocarina of Time 3D. I mean, yeah, some of the crazy glitches are gone. Some, some, uh, but they open up an entire new box of insane glitches in terms of like grotto warps in that game so honestly i it's definitely one of my favorites um, yeah, did, did, did nintendo yeah release some statement where they were like we can't we can't fix too many glitches because otherwise people will complain i want to bring that up so they did release a statement where they said that they left in some of the glitches for nostalgia purposes but that's nerds like you, no. Mexi. That's because of shit like what you do. No, no, no. The real reason the glitches are still in there is because Ocarina of Time 3D runs on original Ocarina of Time's code. And there's proof of it in that there are still assets from um, the N64 development kit still being in Ocarina of Time 3D. So, no, they did not build 3D from the ground up like they claim to have done while intentionally leaving in glitches the glitches are still in there because it's built off the original engine that has the original glitches in there <laughs> they're just trying to cover up their own lazy asses and did a very poor job of hiding it did they do the same thing with uh majora's mask or was that actually rebuilt properly so it's a little different because uh this is one thing that blows people's mind is that ocarina you time- can feel its power throbbing in your hand oh yes <laughs> <laughs> um Majora's Mask actually does run on a slightly different engine in Ocarina of Time. I know a lot of people think that they are exactly the same game and that they put in no work, but Majora's Mask actually has a slightly different engine. And Majora's Mask 3D, uh, that was a lot something people were wondering is, is it going to run an Ocarina of Time engine, Ocarina of Time 3D engine, or are they going to uh, improve the Majora's Mask engine? And uh, they ma- they improved the Majora's Mask engine. And one of the big difference between the two is uh, how bomb physics work between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Masks. So that's how they were able to determine what engine uh, MM3D was built off of. So, Do we ever figure out what Majora really is? It's just like this evil thing. No. I, I kind of like it. I won't hold it to like truth, but I like the idea that the happy mask salesman is Majora. Therefore, it is Majora's 
mask, it's his mask. So that, that one I think is kind of cute, but you know, it wouldn't be one that, you know, that's the, the truth of the game. It's because they've also released concept art for what the Majora is. Like apparently it's this giant beast who, um, it's like its scales or its skin was used as the material to make the mask and therefore the evil from the Majora creature carried over into the mask itself. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so there's a lot of different things. But uh, uh, leave it to me to actually like the pun uh, explanation. I think I think it was just a mistranslation. It's actually meant to be called Mario's Mask. <laughs> it's Majumbo's Girth. Majumbo's Girth? Majumbo's Girth. Who's Girth? <laughs> what the fuck? Hire me, Nintendo. I can make you video games real good. Meta Knight's Mask. <laughs> Met- yeah, Meta Knight's Mask. Oh man, could you imagine Kirby putting on the mask with the dead regrets of his allies? <laughs> Y'all eat! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says in Smash, right? Y'all ain't? Y'all ain't. <laughs> this heart piece is silly, but it, uh, it's actually kind of funny because we're talking about uh, Majora's Mask is that this is sort of the one thing that the cape is used for and then never again. At that point, the cape is used at your own discretion on if you would like to not take damage, but that's the only part where the cape sort of is the solution as opposed to something that happens a lot in Majora's Mask where you use a new mask one time for one puzzle to get one piece of heart and then you move on. Which is stupid and lame. Man, th- those were the the two missing heart pieces is that one with the cape and then this one now that the two lumberjacks have just appeared where'd they go fuck if i know am i gonna look it up not really don't care they oh shit he took our heart piece we gotta get out of town <laughs> <laughs> the mob's gonna break our legs run for it and <laughs> uh, this is just this is something super optional kind of let's just call this padding it this is filler i wanted to fill up all of my bottles with this fairy fountain also i'm i i may be an idiot but they have zelda always spelled fairy that way no just with this one that's weird yeah, i know isn't that how is you spell really, it is, is there a reason why no dude, no man uh i've never seen fairy spelled that way before <laughs> yeah, i thought it was kind of like how realize spelled with an s but, uh, no, I have, I have never seen fairies, but that that's that's fucking weird. Or how you how you fuckers spell Kalauer. <laughs> yeah, Kalauer. That's correct. Fuck you. Everyone else does it except you morons. Uh, how phonetically does that you even fit there? Kalauer. Kal er. I'll fit that you up your ass in too yeah, many you, games. You better. Don't you threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> don't you threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Okay, yeah, final dungeon time. We gotta go right back up Death Mountain, but we're gonna go through another path now that we have the hook shot, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. But where are the other heart pieces? I told you, one is in the final dungeon, and the other one we're gonna get afterwards. After the final dungeon? How does that make any sense? I don't know, it's... Uh, it, it's padding. That way I ensure that there is a little bit of side quests occurring between each and every dungeon. I'm oh, sorry, I was thinking of I was thinking of Ganon's Tower as being the last one. It is. It's the last. Ganon's Tower is the last one. I'm going to get the last heart piece. Okay, wait. You, 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 uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're in agrees here, Steven. It, it's what drives this commentary together is how well we all work together as best buds. You... Guys are my best friend. Thick and thick and thin. Thin. We'll always, we'll be, always together. be together. <laughs> three, of a, three of a kind, having fun all day, laughing around and patting away. Just best, best friends. friends. Best friends are we. <laughs> this is the part love, where this love, is the part where we this. this is the part where we form a, a Christian rock band, right? <laughs> I, hope I was so. I always love there's that random episode. Of, I forget what episode it is. There's a random episode of South Park where like Andrew, everyone's laughing. And Carmen just goes, I love you guys. And no one says anything. He just goes, he just goes, I hate you guys. (laughs) (laughs) That's literally us. That's FTC on a nutshell. I love you guys. (laughs) (laughs) guys. Pretty pretty much is. I think the best part in South Park history is just when Cartman, for no reason, says, I hate you, Kenny. (laughs) I love that in the movie, I just, I hate you, Kenny. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, South Park movie's fucking brilliant. It's a good movie. Love that movie. 
Does the does the platform just go whichever direction you're looking? How's it what now? Does the platform that you stand on just go in whatever direction you're looking? Yeah, you have to be looking in that direction. It'll go. I, I do like how if you have no idea what to do when you reach the the very entrance of the dungeon, the question mark looks like the Kane of Samaria. So oh, you know, yeah, you try you try and put one and one together. But again, they don't explain to you what the Kane of Samaria can actually do. So that's also super fucking weird. That oh hey, the cane that makes. A block, but then the block will turn into beams, can also turn into a platform! Who knew? I think it's just, you know, try it out. Yeah. I mean, it, it's neat that they do something like that, where the item gains an entirely new use, so, you know, instead of overfilling the inventory with all these different things, you can, you know, just use old items and give them new purpose. Wait, I'm confused. Why were you, do I just turn into a bunny? There is a Got bunny bean. <laughs> there's a buddy beam under er, in that room and there's been a few in other dungeons I've just avoided them it's those yellow things if they hit you you turn into rabbit form oh right yeah how do you how do you get out of rabbit form you just wait oh. it wears off you get better <laughs> yeah I escaped somehow let's go <laughs> Also, this dungeon, I mean, I can see how this one is difficult more in a combat sense. They throw in a lot more enemies that take more hits, and they'll throw in like 10 in one room, but in terms of its puzzles, they're, I mean, they're really well thought out. I like the intro one where you have to light the torches on a platform, but I, I never really got why Turtle Rockets hated as being way too hard. It, it's kind of like Water Temple, too, in the sense that everyone hates it because it's hard, but that's not a good enough reason. Maybe you should get good. Uh, I'll be, I'll be. No, I don't want to get good. The game should fucking be playable. <laughs> oh, I see. A game is only good if it's fun. Hmm. Well, then. Yeah, do you, yeah, you, you enjoy playing, playing games that aren't fun, Mexi? I mean... I can enjoy a game if I'm not having fun, if that is, like, their intent, if they want me to suffer. We just need to make sure we have a safe word if we're gonna do shit like that. <laughs> okay, Mexi, so what's our safe word? Guacamole. <laughs> not hoppage? I mean, if you want. It, it's, it's up to you, babe. I want my safe word to be spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> You got it, baby. Can we can we have the safe can we have the safe would be a phrase that Majora did nothing wrong? <laughs> Majumbo's girth. Majumbo's girth. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Oak, you can't escape his girth. That's the one of my favorite memes of all time. <laughs> Gary Gary Oak was here, Ash smells. Ash smells is gonna be our safe. <laughs> <laughs> Gary was here, Ash is a loser. <laughs> I've always said I've I've always said I wanted a uh, a remake of Pokemon, but it's from Gary's point of view, which is <laughs> him cruising around in that Cadillac with those six babes, like yep. going to all the gyms. It's a yeah. much better show to watch. It's much better until you realize that his grandfather doesn't love him because his grandmother is is totally doing Ash's mother on the side. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Damn straight it is. <laughs> uh. We got the mirror shield. It's useless. I. It's a, such a. <laughs> it's a dumb fucking item. Like the mirror shield in Ocarina of Time, is cool as fuck, and I love it. But in this game, it's useless. Like you can avoid that beam. I forget what what. I forget what what, what does the mirror shield do in this game? Those lasers that shoot out, they don't hurt you. That's it. Like certain beams will hurt you less. Honestly, getting the red shield matters more in this game because that one. You can actually block projectiles, some projectiles, which is cooler than what your first shield could do. This shield is that lasers won't hurt you now. Ooh. Just don't get fucking hit with lasers, dude. Get good, scrub. All right. Oh no, it's Gamera, the atomic turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Try next. Oh look, it's 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 like that fight from the the sand temple in Ocarina, sort of. Twin Rova, yeah. yeah. Also, got to use your fire and ice peeps. Th th this one, my advice is, it takes three sword slashes for each head. Between the second and third slash on the first head, that's when you want to change your item because while the boss is exploding, you can't open the menu. He just evolved into Onyx, <laughs> and now he evolved into Dead. 
jeez, Mexi, what the fuck, man? It's the boss goes down to like three sword hits. All right, it's not even jeez. my fault. We got the final sword upgrade from the large fairy when we got the silver arrows. I mean, come on, Miyamoto, what the fuck? It, it's Link. That that's what all that power throbbing in his hands was for. Was to take down the rock snake. Is that Zelda? <laughs> Is that Mario? Is that Mario? <laughs> Is that Zelda? <laughs> uh, and she's going to give us essentially the same speech that she's going to give us at the end of Ocarina of Time. I knew you was the hero. Oh, cool. Thanks. Zelda, I thought you were dead. Yeah, but I'm better now. <laughs> That's my I favorite got, line I from could... Invader Zim. Scooge, I thought the Almighty Tallest killed you. Yeah, but I'm better now. Oh, dude, that's, that's a line from the uh, in the last issue of the Sonic X comic book. The shadow from the main Archie continuity. Like, Chaos controls into the X universe, and this takes place after the SA2 adaption, so, like, everyone thinks Shadow's dead. And it's an image of Sonic, Shadow, and Vector the Crocodile. <laughs> and, and Vector the Crocodile goes, Shadow, I thought you were dead. Sonic just goes, he got better. And Vector goes, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can still hear his voice sometimes. Quit telling people I'm dead! <laughs> I just love that response. I got better, too. I thought you were dead. <laughs> May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. They keep saying it, but I mean, it, it feels special when it's the last maiden to say it. Yeah. All right, let's go get that last heart piece. <clears throat> it feels special, Maxi, when you say it. It's it's my my cool voice. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Or an invisible platform, so oh, jeez. How'd you know where to go? Because I've played this game before. Go figure. Um, let's but, play. Uh, how, how are you supposed to figure out? The, how are you supposed to figure it out? In real life. All right. Indiana Jones and the Lost Crusade. You can use the Ether Medallion. You can. There's probably a torch in there that you can light that'll show the actual path there. The end. <laughs> there's probably something that will show you. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out, nerd. I don't know. I th you think I'm some fucking walkthrough Let's Play channel that's gonna have commentary written out to tell you all the step by step way to beat this game? No, fuck you. I'm here to bore you the while these things. two, while these the two say funny things. shit. Lionels, right? Yeah, those are the Lionels. And I love that everyone with Breath of the Wild has been talking about how difficult they are because in Zelda 1, they are the worst enemies in the game, and in this game, they're also difficult. So I'm glad they brought them back and they kept their difficulty. Yeah, they're fucking hard. They look like they they look like if Miss Finster from Re from Recess was a centaur. That's what they <laughs> look like. <laughs> Miss Finster. Also, this is our Rainbow Bridge cutscene for the game. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> you have you have twenty hearts, Mexi, but in Breath of the Wild, I have twenty three. <gasps> Get fucked, Mexi! You suck at life. Fine then, Steven, you finish the game. Okay, for the rest of the game, I'll be playing. <laughs> Hooray! Join us in the final part where Steven fully finishes A Link to the Past. Yeah. I'll. <laughs> yep. Bye. <laughs> it's all him. Bye. <laughs>